Hello everybody. Today we are going to be taking PAR readings of the Hydra 26 HD with and without the diffuser and the diffuser you can find at uh, 3dreefing.com and they come in white and black and they are 3D printed and they are a perfect fit. The tank itself that you're seeing here is a Sea Clear 50 gallon acrylic. It is 36 inches long and it's 20 inches tall. The light itself is sitting 9 inches above the water level. And uh, I could use two of these lights on this tank, so this one alone is pretty much maxed out for this size tank. The UV, violet, royal blue, blue are all maxed out. The cool whites are at 50%. The green and red spectrum are at 0%. So I have here an Apogee Quantum Flux PAR meter and we're going to be taking readings without the diffuser first. And uh, the goal here is just to give you an honest review and the effects of the diffuser. And uh, later I'll ex tell you my experience with using the diffuser for several months. So. Bear with me as it's a little bit tricky as the uh, taking a par reading. The light likes to bounce a lot, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, we'll start off here right at the surface edge, maybe about an inch below. This roughly is bouncing between in the 700s to 800s, close to 800 par. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna move down here to the stylo. Right about 240, 250. I'm going to go over here and place it right on this rock. Same thing, it's bouncing quite a bit. So I, I just average it out around 250. Then we're going to take it to the far left side and uh, get it to the close far end of it near these zoanthids right, right behind this leather. Right about 150. Try to reach over here to the camera. Now there is a reduction in, in par with putting on a diffuser, any type of diffuser, some more than others. Um, I've tested quite a bit of different materials, of frosted acrylic and uh, different things still finally settling on this certain type, which is like a prismatic lens. And insulation is pretty much straightforward. It's got two thumb screws in the back that pretty much you tighten and it just fits on there pretty snug. Don't want to over tighten it. There's also a, a couple of tabs right close to the top of the diffuser frame itself that pretty much butt up right against the light. So it's um, pretty even and symmetrical. So you know exactly that all four corners are exactly even. And you should be able to notice the effect right away as soon as I put it on here. It's just a lot more relaxing to the eye. The spectrum becomes a lot more uniform. And one thing I notice if you have a lot of LPS without the, the disco effect, which is virtually all eliminated, when you have LPS and a lot of softy corals that are swaying around, 
it seems to be a lot more pronounced the the movement of it without the flickering you can just more of the focus is on the movement of the coral and not the flickering and shimmering all over the place which is something I, I, I like a lot okay so grab the par meter again and I'm expecting close to the top is the most effect as it spreads the light a lot more and it's not as focused or projected right on the par meter there's a, a, a more of a drop in par right towards the surface than anywhere else but once you get close to the bottom I noticed it uh, starts to equalize basically and, and it starts picking back up the par as it spreads it more evenly throughout the tank so it's still not bad it's um it's a little lower going from 700 to 750 it's a lot more uniform a lot more even it, it might be a noticeable it might just uh, bounce a little bit less once the diffuser's on let me see trying to get it so right, right around 700 750 I believe as long as I don't move it when I move the uh, par meter closer to the camera okay go back down here towards the stylopora Here, right about 2.30. About 2.30 on the meter. Try to hold it still. And go back over here on this rock. Bouncing around almost to about 220, between 210 220. Gonna move back over to that far left side near the zoanthids right behind the leather. Going about 110 to 120. So, as to be expected, it, it is a drop, but it's very minimal, roughly around 10%. And um, I'll explain here. I would recommend if you do purchase one of these, and you think it's something you would want, I would not adjust the light spectrum. I would not bump up the lights when you first install it. I would leave it the same, see how the corals. Uh, react to it. I'm pretty confident they'd have a positive reaction as I've seen. I've, I've gotten a lot of growth on my coral. Um, I actually fragged a green slimer back there about a week ago and it is growing on top of the flesh almost immediately and a lot of growth formed on top of that in only about a week. Um, polyp extension is awesome. The uh, bird's nests are pretty much exploding in growth. Torch corals are always happy and I can see new heads growing on there. Zoanthids are ex expanding a lot, um, covering more area. Manipora over there has a lot of white tip for growth on it. GSP, as usual, growing like crazy. Stylo, every, everything has had positive effects. That's my personal experience on it. Um, had no issue growing coral under that diffused light and I actually prefer it this way. Um, after I've gotten used to it, having it for a, a, a while, when I remove it, it just kind of looks like a static mess to my eyes now. So I, I almost can't go without it. But um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Get to you as soon as I can. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.